You like that? <laughs> the California State University Northridge Jazz A Band, under the direction of Professor Matt Harris, will now play our national anthem, which will be performed by vocalist Amina Kawaja. Please stand. Please be seated. Good afternoon. My name is Jerry Stenner, and as Dean of the College of Science and Mathematics, it is my distinct honor to welcome you to the 55th Annual Commencement Ceremony. <laughs> We are here to recognize the accomplishments of the graduating class of 2013. <laughs> Celebrating this occasion with us today on the platform behind me are our distinguished alumni, president, and campus and college leadership. Please join me in thanking the members of our platform party. As we begin, we remind you, oh, this is the part where I'm the bad cop. We, we remind you that the aisles must be kept open and you are asked to stay until the end of the ceremony. Out of respect for our graduates and the safety of our guests, noisemakers are not permitted. It is now my great privilege to introduce our new president, Dr. Diane Harrison. Thank you, Dean Stenner, and my thanks to Professor Matt Harris and our Jazz A Band for that wonderful, engaging performance. Thank you all. So good afternoon to our graduates, their families, honored guests, administrators, faculty, and staff. As president of California State University of Northridge, I am pleased to welcome you to the 2030 13 commencement ceremony of the College of Science and Mathematics. Having arrived at CSUN just about one year ago, I am delighted to be attending my first commencement ceremonies on campus and to honor the first group of CSUN graduates under my presidency. So I'm very pleased to be here and I want to congratulate each and every one of you. I will tell you that commencement is honestly and happily one of my favorite days on campus, one of my favorite days in the academic year. It is a true celebration and brings together the entire campus community and brings attention to the individuals who are the focus of the university's work, our soon-to-be college graduates. 
One of the responsibilities of a university president is to showcase and quite honestly brag about what you have done during your time on campus and your contributions to the greater community and how you have contributed to CSUN's mission as a regional academic, cultural, and economic engine. I want to tell you how fun and easy you have made this aspect of my job. In addition, this year I've had a chance to meet many of you, and I have heard your stories, and I have been truly inspired by what you have accomplished where you started and where you are today. You have truly helped to make sea sun shine, and you embody the commitment to excellence and achievement that the faculty and staff of CSUN work to instill in all of our students. Because of your hard work and the support of your families and friends and the faculty and staff of the university, you are here today to be recognized, to receive a degree, and to prepare for the next phase of your life. On behalf of our faculty, staff, and administrators, I want to thank you for allowing us to help nurture your talents and your gifts. And I hope your experiences here are ones that you will always cherish. And I hope that you will also remain engaged with CSUN into the future as you pursue new horizons. Today is your day, and I hope you have an opportunity to take home a little bit of our sea sunshine with you today. Now, on with the ceremony. I would like to give special recognition to those students who have demonstrated outstanding scholarship while at the university. These students can be identified by the honors medallions they are wearing. Will the students who are graduating with academic honors please rise and receive our applause. Thank you. And please be seated. The College of Science and Mathematics owes much of its success to its talented and incredibly dedicated faculty. I now invite our faculty and emeritus faculty who have joined us today to rise and be recognized by your students, colleagues, and friends. Thank you. I also want to recognize the important contributions made by the administrative and technical staff of the college. We are very fortunate to have a highly skilled and delightfully de dedicated staff. I ask them to rise and let us show our appreciation. It is now my pleasure to invite Dean Stenner to the podium, and again, my thanks to each and every one of you for joining us today for this great celebration. Thank you, President Harrison. Congratulations, class of 2013. You did it. I can assure you that all of us on this uh, platform and all of the faculty and staff in the College of Science and Mathematics couldn't be more proud of you. How many of you recognize the uh, processional music? Well, if you didn't, maybe your parents or, well, maybe your grandparents. Um, that was actually a song by Earth, Wind and Fire, September which was a huge hit, 1978, I remember it well. I just didn't bring my afro. The 1970s were interesting times, and as I reflect back, in some ways they remind me a lot of what you have gone through and all of us have gone through over the last few years. 
A lot of us have forgotten, but in the 1970s, the economy was really bad. Manufacturing fell throughout the decade, and we were mired in an expensive and very unpopular war. There was a major recession from 73 to 75, with high unemployment, a sluggish economy, and inflation. Anybody remember the term stagflation? That was a term actually coined for those times. Unemployment rose to 9% compared to the 10% that it recently rose to. GDP, GDP fell 3%. And the Dow Jones lost 45% of its initial value. It was a huge stock market crash, the seventh highest on record, seventh biggest on record. We also had other concerns besides the economy in the 1970s. We were very, very worried about what was happening to the environment. Sound familiar? Rachel Carson had published her bestseller, Silent Spring. She warned about the deadly effects of pesticides. She said that cancer was killing more American school children than any other disease. She predicted that DDT would cause practically 100% of the human population to be wiped out from a cancer epidemic in one generation. Paul Ehrlich, an ecologist at Stanford, published The Population Bomb and the End of Affluence at the start of the 70s. He predicted 15 billion people by the year 2050, and the number would just keep growing. He said there would be mass starvation in the 70s and at the latest, the 80s. And by the year 2000, countries like Japan, Brazil, and India would collapse. There were also, as you might know, political and social issues. There was the Cold War, in which we were sure we were all going to be annihilated by nuclear weapons. There was a war on drugs because drugs were sweeping our cities across this U.S. The early 70s saw Watergate, and then President Nixon resigned. Public confidence in our public officials plummeted. Saigon fell in 1975, and President Ford announced that the Vietnam War was over. 58,000 of our U.S. soldiers died. Energy was also a major issue. Sound familiar? There were two oil embargoes, one by the OPEC nations along with Syria and Egypt, and then one imposed by President Carter. I remember this. There were massive shortages of gasoline, long lines at the pumps, and panic. There was a nationwide trucker strike in protest to the skyrocketing fuel prices. In his single term in office, President Carter gave five major addresses to America. He warned that we were running out of oil, and he predicted that consumption would exceed production by the early 80s. And then to cap it all off, President Carter in 1979 gave his crisis of confidence speech to America he told us that we were facing something even more serious than the economy and energy shortages. He said that this crisis of confidence was that we had no confidence in the future of America. He said that this crisis of confidence was threatening the very social and political fabric of the nation. Wow, what a decade. Well, maybe not surprisingly, the number one selling nonfiction book of the entire decade was Hal Lindsey's The Late Great Planet Earth. It sold tens of millions of copies and predicted that Armageddon and the second coming of Christ were at hand. People turned to evangelical Christianity in record numbers. Well, fortunately, the gloom and doom didn't happen. The dire predictions didn't come true. As near as I can tell, I haven't been raptured. And in fact, the opposite has happened. 
by almost any measure, life has gotten better. A lot better since the 70s. We are healthier. We enjoy more leisure time. We live longer. We live in more peaceful times. And we spend proportionally less of our income on necessities such as food, gasoline, and clothing. It's hard to imagine, class of 2013, a world without the internet, Google, Facebook, eBay, Amazon.com, satellite TV, cell phones. There were no Walmarts, Targets, Starbucks. You couldn't get a CAT scan or an MRI if you had to. You couldn't get Prozac either. Now, don't ask me how I know that. A car today, and most of you that know me know I have to talk about cars. A car today at full speed on the freeway produces less pollution than a car sitting at an idle in the 1970s. Life's much better today. Life is getting better, and I'm going to make a prediction. It's going to keep on getting better. Class of 2013, if you take care of yourself, and listen to me, if you don't drink and you don't smoke, you're going to live into your 90s. You're going to live to see the year 2080. Think about that. You have 70 years ahead of you. And during that time, I guarantee that you're going to see amazing advances. Things that we can't even imagine today. The internet is producing a global consciousness. Ideas are being shared as never before. The pace of innovation is accelerating. The electronics revolution is just beginning. Cures for devastating diseases such as cancer, diabetes, and Alzheimer's are on the horizon. And space travel, travel may well become routine. Yes, there are some serious problems out there. Climate change, affordable health care, and, and the widening income gap in America are serious problems. But you know what? When I look at this class of 2013, I have no doubt that this generation is up to the task. So good luck, class of 2013. Don't listen to the Jeremiah's. You're off to a great start, and you have so much to look forward to. Thank you. I will now ask Associate Dean Robert Espinosa to recognize the College of Science and Mathematics Special Award recipients. This is uh, my favorite part of this job. Commencement is a time when departments, the college, and the university recognize and celebrate the achievements of their graduating seniors and master's candidates. I would first like to recognize students who have been honored by their departments for special awards. And what I'd like is for each of these students to please stand, rise, face the audience. And when I call your name, will the audience please hold your applause until all the awardees have been named. There are quite a few. We have a very distinguished uh, graduating class this year. From the Department of Biology, Joseph Aldal, Darren Brown, James Go, Yu Min Han, Andrew Hill, Bayrod Katabian, Ruslan Nuriev, Mark Oliva, and Beck Worley. Hold on. From chemistry and biochemistry, Aaron Miller, Courtney Sams, and Daniel Tolentino. Geological sciences, Joshua Graham and Ryan Witkowski. <laughs> Mathematics, Levon Demirgian, Tim McDowney, uh, Craig Euler, Lorena Lopez, Catherine Marroquin, Heather Pialate, Julie Pinchock, and Gerardo Zalaya. And from Physics and Astronomy, James Kentosh and John Spaulding. Please join me in congratulating these outstanding students. Thank you. 
please be seated. But wait, there's more. Each year, the college also, College of Science and Math, presents awards to outstanding graduates who have been nominated by the faculty based on excell excellence of their academic work and research involvement. And once again, we ask that the winners of these awards please rise, face the audience, and we ask that the audience please uh, hold your applause until all the names have been read. This year, we had an unprecedented three-way tie for the Donald E. Bianchi Award for Noteworthy Accomplishments in Research by uh, a graduate student. And the awardees were Samuel Havens from Mathematics, Jan Malley from Chemistry and Biochemistry, and Jesse Tutel from Biology. The Heald Outstanding Graduating Senior Award was presented to Bayrod Katabian, who is a biology major. And uh, next, I'm going to uh, ask Dean Stinner to say a few words uh, about our colleague and friend, uh, Mac I. Johnson, who is the former Associate Vice President of Graduate Studies, and our uh, next new memorial award has been named after him. Yeah, it's uh, with uh, real mixed feelings that I stand here uh, right now. Um, this, uh, the uh, Mac I. Johnson uh, um, Graduate Student Research Award uh, was recently established um, by his wife, Gail, and um, son and daughter, Christopher and Tracy. Um, Mac was with us for 25 years, and as Bobby said, he was in the Office of GRIP, Graduate uh, research, um, graduate studies, research, and in, uh, international programs. Um, Mac was loved by everybody. Um, he, uh, he, and he also loved CSUN very, very much. Um, unfortunately, he did pass away in June, and I have never seen so many staff and faculty attend a memorial service. I can't think of a better way to honor Mac. Um, uh, Dr. Johnson was, uh, came to us with a wealth of experience. He had a PhD and a veterinarian degree. Um, he had been at the University of California, Davis. He had been at Washington University. He really brought a lot to CSUN. Uh, but one thing uh, Mac Johnson loved were graduate students. He had an open door policy, and it didn't matter how busy he was. Any student that wanted to see him got to see him right then and Mac would do his best to figure out how to help that student. So when Gail, his wife, told me about this, I was really very moved. So thank you, Gail and Christopher. Uh, behind me, there is an empty chair. Mac loved this uh, ceremony, and that empty chair is gonna be there forever. Thank you very much. Bobby? So this year we are pleased to award the first recipient of the Mackay Johnson Graduate Student Research, Research Award, which goes to a graduate student with exceptional research accomplishments and who has already been accepted into a PhD program. The winner for this award is Darren Brown, who recently defended his master's degree in biology. Last but not least, we have two students in the college whose accomplishments have been recognized at the university level. So we've got department, college, and university level award winners here today. First, Ryan Witkowski, a geophysicist from Geological Sciences, received one of only four outstanding graduating senior awards. Sit. He's the man with the big stash. And our own biology major, Bayrod Katabian, yes, you've heard his name several times here today already, was one of a handful of candidates for the Wolfson Award, which is the highest honor that the university bestows upon a graduating senior. Uh, Bayrod, please stand. It's now my distinct pleasure to introduce Provost Harry Hillenbrand, who will present the candidates for the master's degree.
Jerry, your reflection on the 1970s left me with one frightening thought. In 1978, Jerry Brown was governor. Today he's governor, and if you guys live another 80 years, he's likely to still be governor. <laughs> President Harrison, I present the candidates for the Master of Biology, Chemistry, Biochemistry, Geology, Mathematics, and Physics. Will all these candidates please stand? These candidates have met the requirements as prescribed by the State of California and the Board of Trustees of the California State University System. It's my pleasure to honor you today and to present, the, present you to the President. Please remain standing while she confers a degree upon you. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of California State University Northridge, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree of Master of Biology, Chemistry, Biochemistry, Geology, Mathematics, or Physics, with all of the rights, honors, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. And please be seated. The completion of a degree program is a significant achievement, which the university is proud to recognize and share with you. Please come forward, as directed by the marshals, to receive our personal congratulations and your commemorative certificate. Robert Ostrander. Yeah. Angelica Lopez. Theodora Addy. John Palacure. Julio Guerrero Gonzalez. Jasmine Abdullah. Raquel Barada. Georgina Aguilar Portillo. Samuel Havens. Corina Calderon. Julia Beth Pinchuk. Juliana Davuti Chigani. Lorena Mercedes Lopez. Anishé Gazarian. Angela Berhumian. Sarah Zabi. Aswari Belkar. Nicholas John Gutierrez. Wu Young Sim. Mark Vintayan Oliva. Anuj Bardwaj. Darren Brown. Claire Bailey. Anu Dimashki. Joshua Graham. Aaron Avina. Asan Mohammed Barim. Sosela Tinile. Linda Doran. James Kentosh. Christine Rains. Joseph Banun. Luis David Contreras. Nicholas Baca. Rodolfo Lopez. Veronica Rappaport. Shada Raimani. Ryoko Kawashima. Yasmin Ale, Jan Molly, April Carella, Don Luan Tron, Joseph Aldal, Grant Weiss, Joshua Kaiser, 
The undergraduates in today's ceremony represent six disciplines residing in the departments of biology, chemistry and biochemistry, geological sciences, mathematics, and physics and astronomy. Will all the candidates for the baccalaureate degree now rise? What a great looking group. <laughs> President Harrison, I have the honor of presenting to you the undergraduate class of 2013 from the College of Science and Mathematics. These candidates have completed the requirements for the baccalaureate degree as prescribed by the State of California and the trustees of the California State University. And they have been recommended for their degrees by the faculty of California State University, Northridge. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of California State University, Northridge, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree of biology, chemistry, biochemistry, geology, mathematics, or physics with all of the rights, honors, responsibilities, and opportunities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. And please be seated. <laughs> the members of the platform party and the department chairs will now offer their congratulations to our baccalaureate graduates. I ask that the degree candidates move to the platform as directed by the college marshals and commencement staff. Please have your name card ready. You will be congratulated by a member of the platform party and, and receive your diploma cover and certificate from your department chair. And afterwards, you will be directed back to your seat by the marshals or commencement staff. I too have to be the bad cop and just remind you, I would like please for our guests to help us keep the aisles clear so that we may proceed in an orderly manner and recognize each and every one of our graduates today. Thank you. Department of Geological Sciences. Stephan <laughs> Stephanie Hallgren. <laughs> Department of Biology, Andrew Evans. <laughs> John Wiesenfeld. <laughs> Michelle Matthews. <laughs> Timor Husenor. <laughs> Vanessa Nicole Velasco. Tofik Zaydan, Michael Sopath Yim, Brittany Huerta, Brandon Tong, Michael Vodman, James William Rogers, Matthew Van Grinsman, Travis Griffith, Richard McGuire, Evelyn Lim, Jeremy 
Steinert. Wow. Agapi Simadian. Patrick Gillespie. Lorraine Nudell. Brian Clements. Angela Ivazian. Cardina Zamora. Marjui Gregorian. Ryan Witkowski. Lilith Pagosian. Jose Cardona. Sanahin Balian. George Edwards. Haley Balazade. Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. Daniel Tolentino. Emine Zorabi. Justin Washak. Jennifer Sophie Sherman. Vincent Tran. Jessica DeLazade. Andy Huynh. Mariam Sabunji. Alan Zwayne. Debran Kashani. Julie Jimenez. Tigran Kazalian. Claire Fan. Tani Dixon. Kelly Nagazawa. Alyssa Tago. Lynette Nalbandian. Christy Lee. Amar Witwit. Carla Lynette Dudley. Romney Sanchez. Samantha Page Arivzu. Ishvag Maksud. David Quintero. Stepan McRyan. Stephanie Drafal. Kena Felicia Reyes. Sandra Sanchez. Pascal Carmouche. Rosangela Carbejo. Kevin Eng. Virginia Tran. YQ Tam. Christiane Valladolid. Ramina Shasavani. Jenny Han. Aaron Miller. Thank you. Hannah Ra. Tatvik Alexanian. Ashley Schrader. Ryan Falconer. Bao Win. Lilith Havanian. Anna Shakulian. Sosa Markarian. Claudia Yunani. Adriana Ramirez. Keith Mulholland. Mandana Tasharati. Serena Radham. Nilafar Hajati. Ho Shin. Michelle Chan. Megan McAnally. Alex Jason Martinera. Susanna Alachian. Department of Physics and Astronomy. Manoa Yosefi. Nancy Salas. Hike Nazarian. Martha Barretto. Tyler Sherman. Stephanie Moreno. Jonathan Cruz Garcia. Mayor Pudarud. Department of Mathematics. <laughs> Bethany Franklin. Suryanvir Dogra. Jessica Benitez. <laughs> Abigail Arumer. Kristen Dominguez. Jasmine Moore. Kevin Manley. Tammy Rojas. Nathan Garcia. Christina Lynn Eastman. Justina Alexander. Christopher Vishkoshki. Catherine Mariquin. Malad Kushnad. Maria Makarian. Ezekiel Andrele. Karen Perez. Edward Rosenblatt II. Joanna Garcia. Edward Hernandez. Daisy Arias. Jennifer Ashley Garcia. Elvin Sacayon. Melanie Mongia. Beverly Hernandez. Adrian Stati. Philip O. 
Brianna McCall, Carlos Melos, Susanna Elizabeth Rivera, Eugene Moon, Ruslan Noriev, Natalie Smith, Amy Feliciano, Tim McEldowney, Alvin Sarmar Mirter, Christopher Lopez, Savannah Marcosian, Ryan Doolittle, Sorel Iskandor, Samuel Ariola, Potil Terzian, Joanna Gomez, Eileen Afshar, <laughs> Fernando Ruiz, Daniel Music, Benjamin Haworth, Derek Orbach, Marina Uchenik, Brandon Oraho, Kelly Bailey, Aaron Camacho, Marini Masulian, Jay Chai Futan, Erica Berg Fonberg, Nicole Watson, Department of Biology, Henry Haraturian, Panis Subuti, Grace Chacon, Laura Sarkissian, Martin Stankoff, Ani Rushayan, <laughs> Victoria Jewett, Harnaz Aminian Azami, Stephanie Garland, Ketanyun Nasiri, Tasha Tamaratianon, Andrew Hill, Tracy Areza, Melissa Avanisian, Harry Yugazarian, James Go, Justin Mansour, Gina Abdel Messiah, Tinsing Wong, Batimi Vijay Sinha, Adrienne Cheryl Ignacio Arino, Ivan Rueda, Jacqueline Rivera, Alex Moy. Dana Yumiko Santo, Arthur Barsakowski, Rod Belerchi, Julia Fedorova, Charles Nolam, Jelfa Karami, Daniel Bonilla, Olga Golodets, Jacqueline Vasquez, Yisol Kim, Danny Roman. Sonavar Akopian, Bayrod Katabian, Rachel Reimer, Shahab Younesi, Alexander Matea, Natalie Lyles, Lee Marie Verdugo, Aaron Knighton, Laurelyn Wolfenden, Edith Delora. Peter Kuyumuchian, Lamar Mohad, Arek Tulumjian, Cameron Harrison, Alex Paludian, Ryan Zastro, Renya Malek, Shaheen Bagrogar, Sandra Vega, Albert Yaganya. Dina Alame, Ulysses Hernandez, Teresa Margarian, Mariana Polito, Armin Abramian, Miles Sabatini, Karamarie Vogel, Li Wen Tung, Jennifer Tran, Emmanuel Conliffe, Craig Hoover, Luigi Vigil. Maya Rich, Sharon Tarico, Jennifer Amarhamze, Oscar Mendoza, William Kilbalama, Harut Harabidian, Jessica Puki Farid, <laughs> Asada Satikit, Abraham Helfman, Chris Rodriguez. Stephanie Rodriguez, Jennifer Smolensky, 
Yancey Elizabeth Hernandez. Ariana Steinert. Jessica Yukirahero. Kaya Patel. Alexis Barbara. Kieran Deep Sambiring. Brielle Sleepykoff. Daniel Tice. Megan Erlene Roy. <laughs> Nicole Thibodeau. James McIntosh. Alexander Prince. <laughs> Nephi Cajas. Armand Bayande. Will the recipients of the baccalaureate degree please rise? In academic tradition, in academic tradition, the student who has not yet earned a degree wears the tassel to the right of the mortarboard. When the degree is conferred, the scholar moves the tassel to the left and joins a select company of highly educated men and women. In recognition of your new status, will all recipients of the baccalaureate degree move the tassel to the left? Let me be the first to welcome you into the alumni family of California State University, Northridge. Thank you. And please be seated for a short period of time. All of us here, all of us here, owe a debt to the parents, spouses, children, and other significant individuals who have encouraged and in many cases sacrificed to make it possible for these graduates to come to attend and to graduate from California State University Northridge. We salute them and ask them to stand for a well-deserved round of applause. Family members, yes. Family members, please stand. Family, friends, husbands, children, where are you? There you are. And please be seated. At this time, I would also like us to recognize those who have helped to make this commencement ceremony a meaningful and enjoyable one. An event of this magnitude requires months of planning and hard work. And on behalf of the platform party, I thank the members of the campus community who contributed to this ceremony, and they're all around us. So thank you all for your help and support. I now have the pleasure of introducing Mr. Rajiv Utum Shadani, our Alumni Association representative. Rajiv earned his bachelor's degree in astrophysics at CSUN in 2007. Next, he completed his master's degree in physics at CSUN in 2010. Rajiv is currently a professor in the Department of Liberal Arts and Sciences at the New York Film Academy. Okay. That's right, I said, <laughs> I said the Film Academy. So what's a physicist doing at a Film Academy? Aside from his science background, and he teaches science, Rajiv is also an accomplished actor and model. It works. As a professor, he has taught courses ranging from introduction to physics, to mathematics, of film, to science, and science fiction in Hollywood cinema. He has also served various, 
leadership roles on his campus, ranging from Associate Dean of Admissions, Vice Chair of the Faculty Senate, Director of the New York Film Academy Space Program. As an actor, he has played a Latin soap opera star, a high-stakes casino roller, and a ninja assassin. This just goes to show you that you never quite know what opportunities your CSUN degree may provide you. We are proud to have him represent our Alumni Association today at our commencement. Please welcome. Thank you. I'd like to now dedicate this Oscar. No, I'm just kidding. Um, first, I'd like to thank uh, President Harrison for providing me with such a wonderful introduction. I'd like to thank all the distinguished faculty, the chairs, the representatives of California State University, everyone, for welcoming me this day. It's truly my honor and my privilege to be here amongst all of you. It's so exciting to see all of your faces brimming with joy. The word commencement, if you think about it, you're in a commencement ceremony right now. So what does that mean? What does that word commencement really mean? Well, it means a beginning. It means a time of a beginning. Beginning of what? Well, for one thing, it marks the beginning of a relationship, a new and enduring and long, hopefully, relationship between yourself and us, California State University Northridge. And also, it marks the beginning of your journey to success, your road to accomplishment. It really wasn't that long ago, about three years since I was sitting where you are with my professors who are sitting there as well. And I have accomplished much since then, that's true. And I am extremely proud of what I have accomplished, that's true as well. But as awesome and as cool as all my titles and accomplishments sound, I would really like to stress that it did not come just like that. It came with a myriad of failures beneath each and every single success. Uncountable number of failures. I remember a time when I used to go out every single day. I used to drive around town looking for jobs um, here or there. I even applied for a job here at CSUN to teach. Uh, I didn't get it. So, but that's okay, you know, we move on. I still love all these guys, uh, no matter what. Um, and no kidding, every single day I would go to UCLA, USC, different academic institutions, different um, uh, institutions in Hollywood, agencies, uh, talent agencies, modeling act uh, agencies, acting agencies. So all these drives, and I, I went there, failure after failure, interview after interview, rejection after rejection. So it was never easy. Not for a moment. But what, what enables me to stand here in front of you giving, me this, uh, giving you the speech? I think it's because I knew that throughout that entire journey that I would always succeed. I knew never to give up hope. Because I knew, thank you, <laughs> I knew that success was always just around the corner. And that I knew the philosophy is that to never give up. And all of this has led to some sort of a a personal motto that I like to use. Success is just another audition away. Success is just another job interview away. It's literally <laughs> right around the corner. And I'll tell you a story too with the current agency that I'm signed with, LA Models. Woo! Um, so I went to them twice. Okay, The first time I went there, they didn't even look at me. So you can uh, relate this to a potential job interview, for example. They didn't even look at me twice. They just looked at me once. I waited there for an hour and a half. There were 30 other people waiting with me. They looked at me, they looked at my headshots, said thank you very much for coming. They didn't even look at the other shots that I had spent so much time investing in. So the second time I went there, I said, I I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna give these guys a couple months to think about what they wanna do, think about what they're missing out on. I'm gonna go back, kind of recompose myself, different shots, a new look, the same exact guy who did not look at me once before looked at my picture and said, wow, have you ever became a model before? Which, which campaigns have you participated in? Et cetera, et cetera. And I was thrilled. And the point being that you never know where success will, will be. You never know if you go to one company, whatever company your dream company is to work with, you never know. The first time you go in there, you may be rejected outright after driving all the way 
after spending all that time waiting in line with 30 or 40 other people looking for the exact same job that you are looking at. But don't give up, because if you fail once, so what? You fail twice, who the hell cares? Fail again, then succeed after that. So I realized that this is what I want to share with you today, that as much as all these titles make me sound really awesome, it was never an easy ride. And though hardship will be at your doorstep, I believe that each and every one of you can definitely succeed. So, what do we do now? Let's celebrate. For this is your day. And the future is literally yours to make. You have worked long and you've worked hard to come to this stage today. And you've worked long and you've worked hard to receive the degree that you've just received. So, we are honored, all of us here, to join with you, your friends, and your family to celebrate the joy of your achievement. <laughs> Cheers, please. Thank you. So now, without further ado, dear graduates, on behalf of more than 210,000 alumni, and under the authority of the Board of Directors of the California State University Northridge Alumni Association, I am pleased to formally welcome you as alumni of our great university. <laughs> Additionally, it is my pleasure to inform you that you may add the title of alumnus or alumna to your name as you are now eligible for membership, as I have, in the Cal State Northridge Alumni Association. So congratulations, all of you. Congratulations to you, congratulations to your family. This is a wonderful, wonderful day. And always remember, all of your goals are within your reach. You're here for a reason. Each and every one of you has a gift, a unique gift. I knew what gift I had to share, so I worked on sharing that gift. So I give you a dare, a dare today. I dare you to go out there and fail. I dare you to go out there and succeed after failing. Most importantly, throughout each and every single stage of your life, I dare you to dream. Because success is right there. All you have to do, literally, just take your hand and grab your dream. It's yours to have. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Rashid. And I want to thank all of you for being here with us today. Before we close the ceremony, I would like to suggest one more piece of advice, and that is a request, actually, that you stay in touch with us. Keep in touch with your faculty and stay engaged with CSUN and the university, because we all really want to know about your successes, and we want to know about what you accomplish. And I'm convinced that you all will. And lastly, we want to take credit for all those successes that you will have. So please stay in touch and let us know, because we'll brag about you, and we'll put you in our magazine. Before we close, I ask that all of our students rise for our university alma mater, hail to the matadors under the musical direction of Matt Harris and the Jazz A Band, and perform by vocalist Amina Kawaja. And after the alma mater has concluded, Please remain in your, at your seats, by your seats, until the platform party and faculty have recessed. We ask that all parents and guests please remain where you are until the end of the recessional.
begin the recessional, I want to invite you all to please join us for some refreshments and a chance to introduce your family and friends to our faculty members. And the reception will be located directly behind you in the courtyard between Cypress and Nordoff Halls. At the conclusion of the recessional, the 2013 Cal State Northridge commencement ceremony for the College of Science and Mathematics is formally concluded. Thank <laughs> you.